Hey, it's Luke from the Shoelace team here, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Shoelace app. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to look at in the app is Journeys. On the Journeys tab, you'll be able to filter back and forth between the Detailed and Summary view. On the Summary view, you can see your stages. Think of stages as various actions visitors have performed on your website, starting with the Expressed Interest stage. Visitors within this stage have viewed the homepage but haven't viewed any products yet. After that, we have the Showed Consideration stage, visitors who have viewed your products but haven't added anything to their cart. Then we have the Took Action stage, visitors who have added to their cart but haven't completed a purchase yet. And finally, we have the Became a Customer stage, visitors who have already made a purchase. Depending on the size of your audience and your chosen business objectives, whether it's growth or profitability, some stages may be locked here. Next, we'll take a look at the Detailed view by clicking the See Ads button. This allows you to preview and edit your campaigns. Based on your audience size, length of sales cycle, and average order value, we can segment your ads into different days. To edit your campaigns, you can click the Edit button. Don't forget to always edit your ads directly from the Shoelace app and not on Facebook, as this may cause the app to fall out of sync and affect your campaign's performance. We have suggested a weekly budget based off of your current audience size and we'll adjust this amount as your ads begin to spend and reach your target audience. But don't worry, we'll never increase your budget without checking with you first. To approve your journey, you can review any outstanding items here in the Task Manager. Think of this as your account manager's way to communicate with you through the app. You can view the performance results of specific stages by clicking the View Results button on that stage. Or if you'd like to see overall results for your journey, you can view them in the right hand column here. Or alternatively, you can view them directly from your Facebook Ads Manager. If for any reason you need to turn off your journey, you can do so by clicking the off button here. But just remember your Shoelace subscription remains active and your free trial will continue to run. Next, let's take a look at nudges. Nudges are short-term campaigns that retarget a larger audience than your typical journey campaigns. Nudges run alongside your journey and help boost overall engagement and performance. If you have a special sale or event coming up, feel free to reach out to your account manager and they will set up a custom nudge campaign for you that will target a specific audience over a specific period of time. When the nudge has been created, you'll just have to head into the pending section to approve the campaign. You'll also be able to find all of the nudge campaigns generated by your integrated apps such as Smile.io, MailChimp or Back in Stock as well as many others here. You can view all of our apps and install any that you currently have connected with your Shopify store from our apps page. Our apps really help set your retargeting apart and make the experience feel way more personalized for the customer, so be sure to make the most of them. Last but not least is our settings page, where you can update basic account information, such as your name, number, email, and Facebook details. From the Journeys tab, you can configure specific targeting requirements and paste a link to a Google Drive or Dropbox folder with creatives for our team to use in your ads. Some of these features may be unavailable, however, depending on your subscription type. That's it for now, but if you have any questions about the Shoelace app or customer journey retargeting in general, feel free to reach out to our support team and they'll be happy to help. Cheers.